Taylor Center is located on the campus of Minnesota State University, Mankato. It had its groundbreaking ceremony on May 5th, 1999. Taylor Center opened the fall of 2000 at an estimated cost of $17.5 million. The primary donor to the project was Glenn Taylor. He donated $10 million to the project, Bill Breslin donated $2.5 million, and Pepsi-Cola in Mankato donated $3 million to the project. The Taylor Center has a total area of 142,951 square feet. Resident Arena holds 4,800 spectators with 49 handicap stalls and 49 companion seating seats. The Taylor Center address is at 1651 Warren Street, Mankato, Minnesota, 56001. The president of the school is Richard Davenport. The athletics director is Kevin Beisman. You can find the Taylor Center uh, at mnsu.edu and msumavericks.com. The Taylor Center is home to the Otto Brock Hall of Champions. The Hall of Champions was named after James Robert Bob Otto and Georgina Brock. Bob was the football coach for 17 years and men's athletic director for 13 years. Georgine was the women's athletic director for 34 years. The hall represents basically past alumni and given alumni that will come into the future. The box office is the middle of the outside entrances of the arena itself. It has three main windows to distribute tickets to the consumers. The Dale and Wilma Johnson Alumni Room is a 2,800 square foot uh, reception area with a variety of uses for hospitality functions of the Maverick Booster Club. Bresna Arena is a multi-purpose arena for different sports, graduations, concerts, speakers, etc. The arena has been known to host men's and women's basketball, women's volleyball, and men's wrestling at the college level. It has also been used for high school sports such as volleyball and basketball. It hosts graduations in the spring and the winter. Uh, it holds three commencement ceremonies in the spring and one in the, one in the winter. It can hold 1,500 graduates, and there's 3,000 people that come to attend. The Breslin Arena has movable stands. The movable stands are able to roll in and roll out of the arena. The stands itself are angled towards the center to give the fans a better perspective of how each game is perceived. The exit points are another poor design that we want to look further into. The exit points are far away from each signature areas and can create different problems if we have an emergency were to come about. As you notice within this different picture, we have exit points on the top quadrants of each side of the basketball court. Notice that if a person were to go up the exits itself, an emergency itself would have um, a harder grasp on getting up to the exit points when it is harder to go upwards than downwards. The scoreboard here in Breslin Arena could be used for some updates. It's old, it needs uh, some more features that other D2 schools have. The weight room that the athletes use has been weathered and could be used some updates to it to make it more top-notch for the athletes to use. The concession stands are on both sides of the arena with the same width and length. Concession stands have three large selling windows. The men's and women's bathrooms are on both sides of the arena extending down, with functional drinking fountains next to them for the fans to use. Given what we have learned about indoor facilities, that indoor facilities are more efficient than outdoor facilities. They can be used year-round, and being that the Glenn Taylor Center and the Bresna Arena have a perfect size for a D2 setting. We use multiple types of events besides just sports, graduations, concerts, speakers, and fundraisers. There are many concepts that we'd like to change throughout the arena, but two come to only mind. Uh, more exits for closer fans, 
because exits are one of the most important for an emergency plan. The other thing that we would like to change would be where the box office is positioned. Right now they are positioned in the center of the entryway. We would like them to be closer to the entrances, so have two sets of box offices instead of just the one in the middle. After touring the Bresden Arena and the Taylor Center, we have come away with two ideas that we would like to take on if we were to build our own facility. One of them would be to have the box offices inside, like they are here. Another area we'd like to take away is the Johnson Alumni Room, looking over the arena. We like the basically the aspect of it, and for future uses, we want to use that for another facility, and it's a great idea to use.